Hello YouTube! If you clicked on this video, then most probably you are a fan of the 7 deadly sins. And most probably you know about our home by Hawk. He is also known as the captain of scrap disposal, mild, and of course my personal favorite, Master Hawk. This pink little piggy is by far the bravest animal I've ever seen in any anime I've ever watched. You wanna bet? Never fear, Lord Hawk is here! His courage, his loyalty, and his bravery makes Hawk an outstanding pig. This video is a tribute to Master Hawk. <laughs> If you are anything like me, then characters with crazy high-pitched voices annoy the f out of you. These characters do not bring anything meaningful to the story and their only purpose is to like add a little bit of cuteness to the scene. Now this is like something of a cliche straight out of Japan and it's used over and over again in modern media. Sometimes they put next to a character to give them like advices, guide them in the right direction, worship them throughout their journey, but more often than not, they just serve like to provide some sort of misguided comedic relief. How Hawk is different from these lot is because of his unique characteristics. He's like far superior than your average animated sidekick. Now, Let's look at the little definition of a pig. It's an omnivorous domesticated hoofed mammal with sparse bristly hair and a flat snout for rooting in the soil. Pigs are mostly kept on farms for its meat. And even though Master Hawk looks like a pig and sometimes he even acts like a pig, but let me tell you, he's the most interesting pig you will ever know. If pig collections were a real thing, Hawk would easily be the top candidate. Hawk's appearance is very similar to a typical Gloucester Shoal Spots pig. He has a beautiful pink body, very smooth skin on him, relatively large in size. I mean, he has some weight on him, which is a good thing. His body is well rounded and his legs are fairly short. This all gives him a very cute and cheerful appearance. Hawk has a very interesting looking birthmark on his rump. It's in a clover shape and I think it's one of his unique characteristics. Hawk is quite fashionable. He used to wear an earring on his left ear with the words Darbor, but after his fight against Hendrickson, which was f***ing legendary, his ear tag was replaced with something called Balor's Magical Eye. Now, Balor's Magical Eye was one of Merlin's item, which was named after the one-eyed god Balor, who brought forth destruction and could see through his enemies. Hawk treated this earring like a medal because it gave him so much confidence and the respect he always craved from the sins. Now looking at Hawk's character from the distance, you may say, okay, he is pink, okay, he's a piggy, okay, he wants to be noticed. But there is just so much depth to his otherwise cheerful character because he didn't start it that way. Hawk's beginning was a very tragic one. Hawk was born in the purgatory under his birth name Wild. There he lived with his brother, whose name was Wild. He was then used like a pawn and kidnapped by the demon king, who then used him to spy on his eldest son Meliodas. And like seriously, this all was done when Hawk was not even old enough to remember that he has a brother and his name is Wild. This cruel separation was very hard on Wild. He was just in a loop of fighting the demon king again and again and losing to him again and again, pretty cucked. That is until when Meliodas came to the purgatory and he could have some hope that one day he might see his brother again. Now the question arises, if Hawk was so young to even remember his older brother, then how did this cruel separation affect him? Specifically, how did it affect his character development? I think we all can agree that trauma is rooted deep within you, especially childhood trauma like in the case of Hawk. We can clearly see how it affected Hawk when Eliodas and Ban returned from the purgatory and they were singing the song which Wild used to sing 
and mild of her homeboy Hawk just started crying and he couldn't pinpoint why he was crying it's just that he couldn't stop crying this was a powerful scene because you see Hawk crying almost all the time but this was the time when he was actually crying from his heart he was heartbroken as emotional as the scene was, it made the fans of Hawk realize that their favorite cheerful pig has a more tragic side to him. These experiences were crucial because Hawk is used to resonate better with the other sins and he could only do that if he shared something similar. When we talk about Hawk's abilities, he is a very special pig. He has an extremely sensitive nose and is able of smelling objects up to 1.2 miles away. Hawk is quite, quite impressive. This ability has proven to be very useful in battle because he's able to sniff out the enemies and trace wherever they are. Hawk is also skilled at making very cute dresses. He uses his hooves and m shaped ears as hands to hold things such as hammer and he even used it to seal Meliodas in a barrel once which is quite impressive because we know how strong, crazy strong Meliodas is. But Hawk is fearless man, like he fearlessly rams into any opponent and has taken out Elioni and the team teammates on his own. He has super resilience even when compared to animals from the purgatory where he was born and that is one of the sole reasons the demon king used him as a pawn. Now these physical superior characteristics make Hawk withstand any brutal attack such as Hendrickson's dead end where everyone thought that Hawk is dead, Hawk is burned, Hawk is a goner, RIP Hawk. I mean I'm not gonna lie I was also crying in a fetal position for for a prolonged period of time until the next episode when I realized that my home by Hawk is indestructible. Greatness. Our captain of scrap disposal main ability is called transport which literally translates into transformation. Hawk can basically absorb the abilities and characteristics of anything he eats that has magical powers to them. These abilities disappear when our homeboy goes to the toilet aka when he poops. Transport is a pretty chill trade. Hawk has used it countless of times to help the comrades like when he ate a dragon's gut and gained the power to breathe fire and the power to fly and when he ate an earth crawler he could swim through the ground ultimately assisting the sins as always. He also once ate a chunk of a demon and was able to manipulate darkness flying greater highs even with the person riding on his back. Now I can go on and on about many of his wonderful techniques but to be honest with you all clean is the best. All clean is basically his secret technique where he licks all the scraps off the dishes and Hawk is the main reason we don't have any pest at the boar hat. That is useful. I mean I really don't want to see Elizabeth or Deanne being freaked out by little rats because of hygiene issues. Our captain of scrap disposal easily takes care of that. The Seven Deadly Sins is a shonen anime and mostly creators of such shows put characters as beautiful as Hawk to put more humor into the show. And Hawk humor is easily digestible. I think he's the most funniest when he's being easily annoyed, especially when Meliodas is doing perverted things to Elizabeth. And of course, when King teases him, calling him Lil Porker, Lil Piggy, etc. But yeah, Hawk doesn't take it to his heart. I mean, he's really great friends with King, despite all of that. Hawk's mom, the mother of chaos, arguably the most OP character in the whole series, is super protective of Hawk. He loves her equally. I mean, he is a mama's boy. Whenever Hawk is in distress or something inconvenient happens, we can always see him cry to his mom. And basically, she's the reason why Hawk has such an inflated ego. I mean, his pride is so massive that he even claimed that he's stronger than the sins. Even going as far as saying that his strength level is in the same class as the Demon King himself. That goes for you too, Hawk. <laughs> 
Well, yeah, I'm the shining star of this bunch. <laughs> hey, I'm being serious. What are you laughing about? Hawk has, like, extremely high opinion of himself, and most of it is because his mother is the mother of chaos. Hawk believes one day he's going to grow as strong as his mom. And I think this can be a reality because according to the lore, our boy is only 16 right now. Being friends with Hawk is an elevating experience. His emotional maturity is well beyond his years and he is seen as a hero by all of the sins and pretty much every one of them look up to him. His friendship is by far the most precious thing in the show. He protects his friends blindly, he sacrifices himself time and time again, he believes in retribution and second chances, he guides his friends and shows them the way, he tells his friends to ball off whenever needed, he believes in the goodness of their hearts and he takes care of them when they are at their lowest. Hawk, you're just too awesome and I I love you forever. For the future, I wish Hawk can be reunited with his brother and one day he can become as strong as his mom. As the 7 deadly sins is coming to an end, I felt it necessary to leave some kind of footprint on the internet about my favorite character. If you are a fan of Hawk, I hope you enjoyed this tribute. Ma, 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 do. Oyasumi Kawaii Waga Oto Toyo. Hold up, hold up. My wish came true. My Rudo Waga Oto Toyo. この時をどれほど待ち焦がれたか。<笑><笑>